you are live. Good morning, everybody. How, how are you? I'm doing a pop-up. A surprise pop-up. Saturday morning. I'm just going to wait to see if some people pop in. Probably didn't get a notification on it and send one out. Anyway, I'm doing a live pop-up live sale and haul of um, some things that I thrifted recently. My name is Marianne and welcome to my channel. I'm a reseller, a part-time reseller. I love to go thrifting for, for uh, vintage items, uh, garage sailing, uh, thrift stores, you name it. I've been doing this a while and I absolutely love it. And so, here we are, Saturday, the 11th of November, and I'm doing a pop-up sale today. I normally have my sales on Friday at 6 p.m. Uh, yesterday, um, I was, um, I did the, uh, I went to the local flea market and I set up there, and so I sold some items. So I'm just going to wait to see if anybody pops in Let's see what uh, let me check my check my iPad to see if you're new to my channel welcome in I'm Marianne again my channel is called All in the Attic Treasures I'm located in North Carolina and like I said I usually have a live sale every Friday and I carry anything uh, I sell anything from vintage to antique to retro, um, some new items, you know, some uh, new arbitrage that I can uh, get my hands on. So it's eclectic. So if this is something you're interested in, um, please consider subscribing. Give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment after the video is, uh, is uh, done playing. I would love to have you as a as a subscriber. So let me just check my iPad and see what's going on here. Oh, Duke. Could be too early for everybody. So I'll just hang out for a little bit longer and see what goes on. Let's see here. Let me just check this. Okay. Um, community. Let's see here. Let me just post and maybe that'll get the um, get some people to uh, Bear with me. There we go. I hope everybody's having a wonderful day. It's very rainy. But it's a cool weather's coming into the south now, so that's good. We're going to finally hit some winter weather. Okay. Ten. I'm just going to send a notification out. And post. Let's see what happens. Okay. doke I normally do have people in my chat already, so I'm just waiting for So if you're just lurking and watching or re-watching 
at a later date. Don't get too bored. <laughs> this happens. So I'm just waiting for some people to show up so I can show them uh, what the goods are. I did, but I can, I mean, I can start. I can start. So let me start off with um, some things that I thrifted. Um, I can start off with hauls, you know, haul stuff. Some of the items I'm going to keep for myself. Some of the items um, are going to be for resale. Some of the items are going to go on my eBay shop. And I do, I do have an eBay store. Um, and it's by the same name, All in the Attic Treasures. So if you're, uh, if you're an eBay shopper, you might want to stop on over and check out my shop. I haven't posted anything in a while there uh, because I've been busy, you know, working and um, doing live sales on YouTube. So I've kind of neglected my, uh, my YouTube, my uh, eBay shop. But um, it is the fourth quarter, guys, so I think I'm going to be... Uh, spending a little bit more time posting to eBay. So anyway, hello again. And um, I'm just going to get started, see what happens here. All right, let's see. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's an old video. All right, well, I didn't want that. Um, Let's X that one out. Live. There we go. Here I am. Hello, one person out there lurking. Welcome in. If you're new here, let me just change that. If you're um, interested in uh, vintage reselling, uh, you've come to the right place. My name is Marianne. I live in North Carolina and I'm, um, I have a YouTube channel. I sell every Friday about 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And, uh, and I offer things for sale that are vintage and antique and, um, you know, just vintage goodness. You know, everyday items sometimes. Hi, Elaine. Good morning. Good morning, surprise. So um, I didn't have my live sale yesterday because, uh, you know, I was at the fair, not the fair, the flea market. Uh, I set up a table yesterday. I did a short on that. And, uh, and then I came home and made dinner and, you know, one thing led to another. And I said, ah, you know what? I'll just do it tomorrow after I get off of work. So forgive me, guys. I've been up since about 6 a.m. yesterday, so I'm pretty tired. <laughs> I just got off of work at 7, so I'm just going to kind of throw this together, show you guys maybe. I want to show you some items that I, that I showed last Friday for those of you who weren't here. So I'm just uh, waiting for some people to pop in. How are you? Yeah, the setting up is like, the setting up is the hard part. And then the breaking down is the hard part, you know, but I, I enjoy it. You know, I've done it a couple of times. So I did it for, I, I guess I was out there for about four hours or so. But it's, you know, I didn't do so bad. You know, I got rid of. You know, I got rid of stuff that was just, you know, like a death pile here. And it's funny because uh, I, I did sell quite a bit. And then when I was packing up my car, I was like looking for room. Isn't that the way it works, right? But, you know, met, some, met a couple of uh, other sellers there. And uh, it, was, it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. Just uh, mostly Christmas stuff, you know, downsizing and getting rid of you know, Christmas items that I've shown you guys a million times already. So I've decided to do it. I've been doing that a couple of, the last couple of weeks I've been heading over there. But it, it's, you know, it's not an antique flea market. You know, it's just basically people just selling their goods. You know, it's like a, a drive-through yard sale, you know, of everybody selling whatever. 
and it's a lot of fun. I mean, some people do it full time. They're there every day. I give them credit. I really do. So how's everything with you, Eileen? How's everything? I hope everything is well. It's getting cold by you yet? I got my power aid to power me up for a little while. Mm -hmm. So, well, I got two people. I got it's you and me, Aline. It's you and me. Now, there's some glass here that I'm not really. I don't know what I did with it. Somewhere around here. I think I have a Pyrex thing. I know. Yeah. It was, I think, two weeks ago. It was, it got to, it was like 20, 27 on the overnight. It was cold. It was cold. For here, that's cold. So, yeah, 40. Ugh. I can't say I don't miss, I, I, I don't miss the heat of the summer, you know, because we have like six months of, you know, hot. It's, it's just hot. You can't, you know what I mean? It's too much. But it's pretty when it snows. You know, I kind of miss the, I kind of miss the, the, the northern weather being down here. I don't think, I mean, I'm here six years and I think I, I only saw it snow once. That was the first year I came down and it was just a dusting. You know, I'm used to like footage, you know, major footage of snow. So I miss it. I miss it. Anyway. So let's start. Let me start showing you what I found. Um, and we can, uh, you know, we'll go from there. Oh, I need my loop. I need my loop for this pin. I found these two pins. These are, these are very pretty Christmas pins. I don't know what I do with my other one, but let me get my loop because I got to look at it. Hold on. I'll be right back. Now, I don't know what I did with my, my other one. Mm. I'll be right back. Don't go nowhere. I have that Santa pen. I don't know what I do with it. Oh. What was it on mine? Okay, now I got it. I got it. I'm back. So yeah, I got these two pins. I think this might be a Jerry. Um, let's see. Yep, this is a Jerry pin. G E R R. Yep, G E R R I E. I'm going to put that on a little card so you can see it. So I did hit a couple of little thrift stores as well. Oh, I found something so cool. Are you guys, is anybody into like weird, like, I don't know if it's weird, but to me it's like medical, weird medical stuff. Like I had that glass, that old fashioned glass, um, a breast pump that time I showed. I'm so blind. I can't get this open. And well, anyway, yesterday I found, uh, the heck is it called? Um, uh, 
and violet. It, it shoots, it's this old fashioned apparatus, okay? And it had glass tubes and you turn it on and this ultraviolet light comes through it and you put it on your skin and it shocks you a little bit. And it's from the 1920s. I, di I got died when I saw it. I was like, I thought at first, when I first looked at it, I thought it was some kind of a test kit for, you know, like to test old uh, tubes and radio or, t or TV or something. But, um, oh, it turned out to be this, this electrical pulsating device thing. Uh, I was just, I, I love, that's going to go, that's going to go on eBay. That's just unique you know i love finding quirky different stuff out there you know the stuff that's not the average yeah, that excites me that's my jam i love finding stuff like that so anyway let me i have this christmas pen and it's a dog let me see if it has all its little stones yep it has all its little stones there you go. Oh, I think this is in the way. Let me get that out of the way. Ooh. So, this is a Jerry's pin. And it's a dog and it has a little rhinestone. Rhinestone uh, holly leaf. And it's just gold tone. So I came across that and I'm not going to, I'm, I'm just going to show stuff. And if anybody, if you're interested, you know, just let me know if you're interested and then we can go from there. So I think that was cute. That was really cute. What else did I find? I found some, I found a lot of good glass and I sold some last week. Um, but for the life of me, I can't never remember. Who makes it? Scott is a wonderful. You you watch Scott, the old Curiosity Shop, Eileen. He's so good with his uh, his glass. I mean, he's been doing it for years, and I, I can't remember yesterday, no doubt. Try to remember Cambridge and Ellie Smith and uh, all the other ones. You know, I, I don't know. I can't remember them half the time. So. A little bit, yeah. So you're having your coffee. Oh, speaking of coffee, check this out. Do you have 7-Elevens by you, Eileen? I was just, I'm just silly about this. We, up in New York, up in New York, I mean 7-Eleven, I mean that's up in Long Island, that's where 7-Eleven originated. And, um, it's kind of like, it's kind of like an, it's kind of like a Wawa down here. We have Wawa's, you know, but they didn't have any 7-Elevens locally. So they decided to build one and I was just ecstatic and I've been waiting months and months and months because the last time I had a 7-Eleven cup of coffee was a number of years ago. And I just been, see like 7-Eleven coffee. So they finally opened up and I went and I got a cup of coffee and I was just, I was the happiest camper. It was like, I had my happy, my happiness is in this cup. And I was, I was just like, oh my God, I cannot believe we have a 7-Eleven here. It was just amazing. And how long it's been since I've been to a 7-Eleven is that I walk in and of course they have like, they have the, these satellite um, eateries, you know, like, I don't know. Uh, like there's tacos and there's chicken and then there's, you know, there, you can get gyros and stuff like that. And, and the 7-Eleven is pretty big. So, yeah, it is sometimes. For me, it is, you know. Um so I go up to the counter and I'm looking for, you know, <clears throat> you go across and, you know, you go into the gas station and you want to get yourself a cup of coffee. Usually, you know, the pot's there. 
there's no pots. And I was like, oh my God. And you know, I, I am completely, I lack, I lack the understanding of technology. So just like a McDonald's now, whatever, you can do your ordering through the kiosk. Well, the the coffee is in a, like at a machine, like a kiosk. And it, you know, you have to press the buttons and, and I'm standing there pressing and nothing's happening and I'm getting frustrated and I said, I just want my coffee. That, that, that's all I want is for the coffee to get in the cup. That's, that's all I need. <laughs> I was like, where's the pot? That's how long it's been. That's how long it's been. They've, they've upgraded. So I was just, <laughs> it kind of, it kind of threw me there, but I did, I figured it out obviously, but I was just like, wow, everything is just automated for you now. It asked you, would you like cream? Would you like us to leave room for cream? And I was like, yes, please. <laughs> it is funny. All right, let me look at this pen. This is pretty. I think this is an older one. This is so pretty. This is on a bow. This is gold tone. And I don't see any markings. Oops. I don't see any markings on it. So, <clears throat> but I thought this was lovely. Look at that one. Isn't that pretty? I love that one. See, it's kind of swings on a bow. So, hi, Nightmar. Good morning. Isn't that pretty? This one is, this one measures. Uh, wow. I must be tired. How about uh, two and a half inches in length? Two and a half inches in length. Isn't that beautiful though? That's pretty. I love that. And it has all its rhinestones. So if there's any interest, that's a pretty one. That is a pretty one. If there's any interest, let me know. Okay. Hello, five people out there. How are you? Welcome in. Pop up live. So I'll show you something else I found. Now this, unfortunately, I didn't see that it, he was missing something, but I think I'm going to try to fix it with, um, with some polymer clay. He kind of looks like somebody I knew a couple of years back. But he's the Santa salt and pepper shaker, isn't he? But he's missing his pom-pom. See the hole? He's missing a little pom-pom. And he has his little cork inside. And this is the other one. This is the matching. So they were like this, and I didn't notice he was missing. Because, you know... You get excited, you see vintage, and you're like, ooh, and you grab them. Aren't they cute? So I think I'm going to try to fix this guy first. Maybe if I can form some clay and a little wool. If not, maybe, and, and if, you know, I don't know. Maybe they'll go in an assemblage, or maybe they'll just go in with my own Christmas stuff, and I'll just keep them around. Is there anything you anything anybody is looking for today? Any kind of anything? Something that uh, you're interested in in seeing? Oh, uh, let me see. Let me see. Are you having your co morning coffee, Nightmare? I can't, I can't. Here we go. 
Oh, that's what dropped. Rolling pin. Okay, so I found this trivet. This is like, uh, there's glass on the back. I've never seen one with glass on the back. It's like a silver tone or silver. It's has a little bit of tarnish on it. But it's not, you know, it's probably just lightly plated. But I thought that was pretty. <coughs> it's about that big. Hello, Kathy. Good morning. Oh, the message showed up and I, oh, I didn't post the link. I didn't post the link. I know. Um, I don't know why. Does the link usually show up? I don't know. It's okay. It's an impromptu pop up. So I'm just basically showing, showing things that I had. Uh, you know, a haul. So I think that's pretty. And if anybody is interested, uh, you know, I'll just say if you're interested, I'll let you know if there's something that I'm going to be keeping for, for my own. But isn't that pretty? That's so pretty. I think that's so pretty. That would, I mean, you could, you know, you could put anything on this. I mean, really. You could put anything on this. Um, a hot plate, you know, use it as a hot plate on the table or whatever. So I have that if anybody's interested in that. Let me show you the glass I found. I'm not I'm not selling this as of yet. I don't know if I can because I don't find them. And I don't find this stuff ever. You know, I mean, like down here, I don't, it's, it's where I am. It, it's, I'm not saying that it's not there. I'm just saying that I'm kind of limited. So when I find something like this, I, I just, you know, I know it would take me a long time to find something like this, but I mean, there's this gentleman that comes to the flea market and he's been bringing a lot of, I've been getting a lot of glass from him and he normally doesn't bring glass Oh, yeah, probably, Kathy. It probably was a bridal present. But I've never, you ever see one with glass on it? It's got a glass bag. I think it's pretty. I mean, you could put a plant on there. You could, you know, put about anything. So anyway, this guy, you know, he comes, he's only there once a week. And he says, I'm not usually bringing glass because nobody buys it. And I was like, please bring it because I'll be here. <laughs> I'll be here and I want to see what you have. <coughs> Excuse me. So I bought these three bowls from him. And this is one. One of the bowls. And I think Heather showed she had something similar to this pattern on the leaf. And it is footed. Heather from Revived Sisters, but there's the pattern, and I don't, I'm not really sure what it is. I mean, I Google searched it. No, you can't see that. No, you can't see that either. I Google searched this, and I did not come up with a pattern. Now, this is a substantially thick glass, so... And with this, I mean, yeah, I don't know if it's for Storia. I'm not schooled with that, you know, with the all, with this antique stuff. But I tell you what, uh, this glass grow, this glass grow, glow, grows, grows, glows green. It's a very light hue of green. I don't think you can see it, but it's there. 
it glows a green. It's very faint, but you it's definitely there. It's like a very, very, very late. But I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Do you see that pattern? I mean, Scott would know right away with the handles and the feet. And I don't have a book that tells me all about the different etching designs, but it's it's just it's just gorgeous. Oh, I'm gonna keep that, but this is this is a heavier one. So I was thinking maybe Cambridge, but it, it, I was thinking Cambridge. I don't know. You could be right. It could be Fastoria. I don't know. I really need to get a book on this kind of class, but it's anyway, that's, I can go on and on. That's one of them. And I'm going to have to scoot over here. This is the second one. Now what in the world? I need three, three large center table bowls. I don't know, but this one is the next one I found. And again, it has a green glow. Can you see that pattern, Kathy? I guess if I put a my dark shirt against it, you see that pattern. Now this one, this one is no chips or anything, but the there is one tiny little flea bite on the edge here. Oh, it's crystal, but it's much thinner than the other one. So I think it's a different maker. So I know it's kind of hard when I don't have that a solid background to show you. But you see how that is? It's very uh, like Art Nouveau. It's a very Art Nouveau look. Yeah, right? So I can't give them up yet. I, I just, I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's my Achilles heel. This stuff is my Achilles heel. And that's why I'm bad. I'm bad reseller. Because I find good like stuff like this. I don't want to give it up. <laughs> and I was like, no. And I don't, I really don't know the value. And I would have to do a ton of research. And, you know, I was watching Scott uh, talk about that when he had Jeffrey Reed on the show. And they were talking about that, you know, the value of things and, you know, how to look them up and whatever properly. So that's the second one. And then the third one, I don't know. I think this might be the oldest one. I don't know. This is, this bad boy, this bad boy is, is even bigger. Very big. So... It has the, there's the dash and dot. Yeah, right? I agree, Kathy. So there's the pattern on this one. And it has a scalloped edge and it has this, like a, a dash and the three dots. So, I mean, it's, it's it's big it's very big but again you know it has the glow it has the glow i was so excited i've seen it it's not as bright green as you know uranium glass yeah yeah they are festive you know but i figure when am i i'll love them for a while and then you know I don't think my, at some point, daughter-in-law will even appreciate them. She's into that. She's, what does she do? Uh, what is that? The boho look. They do the boho look. Oh, does it give you a federal feel, Cassie? Ooh. Wow. 
I mean, I don't want to bother Scott. I mean, maybe, you know, Heather and Shane, they're getting pretty educated on this glass. You know, they're, they're, they're really, they, they know how to find the patterns. Maybe I'll take a shot, screenshot of it and send it to them. I don't want to bother Scott with that. But aren't they, they're, they're just, they're, they're beautiful. They're, they're just beautiful. So I, I had to have them, but I can't part with them. So this one's really heavy. You see the thickness of that versus this, this is thin. So that's why I, I can't tell what's what. But I love them. I'm going to move them so the cat doesn't knock them off the table. Let's move those out of the way. Okay, so here's some more glass that I found. Same guy. Same, no, this came from a thrift store. These two came from that same guy. Now this, I think, I think this is very old. Like the bottom is, is pretty rough. Like it was broken off. But you see that pattern? And it's a decanter. Now it doesn't glow. Hold on. No, I lied. Yes, it does. The thickest part of this glass glows green. So this is an old piece of glass. But I don't know whether it's American or it's French. When I Google searched it, it was coming up like French, but it has a very pretty scroll pattern on it and it has like ribbing here and so does the top so i was going to keep that for my collection for a little bit see how that goes this might it might come up maybe later so i got that i was pretty excited about that Somebody said I could put colored water in it. Well, someone had suggested put colored water in it. But it's just, I don't know, kind of goes with the design of what I'm doing. So, and then I found this. Now, this is just a liquor bottle, but isn't this cool? Look at that. I found this as well. Here's the cork stop. And it has like the floor delay, scrolly. Oh, okay. That's a good idea. I could do that. Nikki. Okay. Yeah, I have her email. I can email her. Maybe she would help out. I don't know. If, I mean, does she know about? I mean, she does like mostly like Fenton stuff, right? But does she do um, like old antique glass like that? I don't know. Um, this says, I want to say it right. Shendley. S-C-H-E-N-L-E-Y. It's a liqueur bottle. It's a liquor bottle. It held some kind of federal law forbids a sale, so I can't resell it. <laughs> I'd, be, I'd be a felon. Or reuse of this bottle. But I just thought that would be pretty. Like up on a, up on a shelf. 
Oh, Nikki from Black Dog Vintage. Yeah. Yeah. And Claudia. Are they still doing their show? I haven't seen them in a while. I haven't seen Claudia at all in like months. I don't know if she just dropped off YouTube or I don't know if they're doing their show together or not anymore. Yeah, so I thought that was, that would be a nice addition. You know, it goes with, kind of goes with like the candlestick theme and the, you know, the whole bit. But here's some very, I know this is old because I've seen, no. They're still on? Yes, they're on or no, they're not on anymore. Now, you know when, you know, when uh, they find this old antique glass and they usually find like the little tiny boxes, you know, the, uh, what are they, like the little jewelry boxes, the little jewelry caskets. It's usually the milk glass and it has like the gold and it's very worn. Oh, okay. Okay. I did I, I didn't know. I don't, I don't know nothing of what goes on in this community. I don't, I don't talk to anybody. So I hope everything is okay though. Yeah, that's, 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 that's a hard one. That's a hard one. I've, I've been there twice. Yeah. That can take a lot out of you. Um, did she do she was doing a show with Claudia, but I think she does what not. A lot of oh, a lot of people that I used to watch when I first got in on YouTube two years ago are gone. I mean, they went to what not and didn't come back. I miss them. You know, some of them, some are still around. But they're not, you know, it, it's not what it used to be. And it's not what it used to be. So it's just us, you know, it's just us old folks. <laughs> Hanging in there. The ones that can't figure what not out are left on YouTube. <laughs> I could not, I, I could do it, but I just can't commit to the shipping. Shipping is just too much. So you guys remember antique glass, you know, like the, like I said, the little boxes that, that they find with the gold that's half worn off, you know, but I found this big decanter and I know this is old. I know this is old. It's, it's got everything that... The old glass had you know if that makes any sense at all it has some flea bites in here and some of the decals you know the transfer wear has been worn off of course but it has a lot more gold on it than a lot of those little jewelry caskets do is it victoria hi jeff with the spider it is victorian Oh, so maybe they can't do both because I, I think doesn't Misty, Misty does both. Misty does both. Wow. So would you say this is, would you say this is 1900s or late 18? Should have a ring of fire. Well, I don't know about, I don't know. I don't know. 
it's not it's not um it's not that thin to have a ring of fire it's thick i find that milk glass that has a ring of fire is very thin it's at the very thinnest part late victorian 1900 19 teens late 1800s early 1900s okay wow so that was a good find so we'll keep that with the victorian that's why i was keeping that glass so i have to google search it and see what comes up i don't even know what the value is but that's going to stay in my collection i tried selling it last week but no dibs but it's it's an old piece this is a new piece i found this weekend check this out i think jeff uh scott just had something like this on his show some of the gold is worn off though you can kind of tell some of the gold is worn off um hold on let me check jeff no there's no pontal there's no pontal there's a seam so this was pressed it was pressed in so there's one seam there's two seams one there hold on Where's the other scene? Dang. One, two, three. It has three seams. It has three seams. Isn't that pretty? Anyway, so we have that. I'm just it's I don't know. It's like a show and tell, right? So this has ribbed pattern along here it does have a glowy glow a little bit i mean faint but it's there you can tell it's there but i think i think scott just had something like this oh it might be about the 30s then okay but with the hand with the little painted flowers on there now there's just it's just gold there's no like design in the gold it's just hand painted flowers but he Scott just had one like this on his show just the other day isn't that pretty it's this big so i know that's old that's you know what 1930s so didn't he say if you find something like this, look for the underplate or something like that? So just curious. Anyway. So let me show you this crazy thing that I found. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay, I gotta plug it in, so give me a second. I don't even am I I'm supposed to be having a sale, aren't I? But I never do a haul video, ever. I haven't done a haul video in a while. Make a recorded one. Look at this, guys. If you like the weird, you like the weird, you like the weird. I like the weird. Look at this. See that old? That's an old box. Look at that. And check this out. The master high frequency. Some kid drew all over it. But look at that, guys. Oh my goodness. I don't know if you can see it. I don't want to drop the glass parts. I'll take it out of the box. I'll take it out of the box because I don't want to drop it. Okay. This thing is bake away, guys. It's bake away. 
Look at this. Looks like this big old pencil. Oh. Look at that. And this, this what the heck does this say? Uh, important. Okay. Do not use this apparatus for longer than 15 minutes at any one time. Then pull out plug and allow coils to cool with any other toxic or this is it containing any alcohol on the hair or any part of the body. Master Appliances. Made in Indiana. But look at that. This is old Bakelite. And there's your cord. And that's how you turn it on. And there's the whole. But look at this. Goodness, it comes with these glass things. Now those, it looks like it's brown on the bottom of the tips of the rake, but that boy boys, they glow. For some reason, they glow. They light up. The very bottoms light up. I'm not sure why. The rest of the glass doesn't, but the bottoms do. I don't know. Isn't that cool? So I have that. It came with that one. It came with this one. And it came with this one. Isn't that cool? What does it do? That's the, that's the question, Kathy. What does it do? I'm going to show you, but I have to plug it in. If you just bear with me. I know I lost people. I'm down to like four people, but it, it's okay. It's, it's okay. We're just spending the day. What else are we going to do today? Okay. I have to plug it in. This is so cool. Let me plug it in. Okay, and that takes a minute to warm up. I'm going to use this one. Okay, so this says here the Master Violet Ray applies to the human body. In its stimulating, often, off, often the irritation from the electrical discharge helps to temporarily relieve muscular aches and pains when such aches and pains are due to overexertion and fatigue. The Master Violet Ray machines are one of the most durable to be secured because only of the highest grade of materials are used in the manufacture and fabrication of these machines. Wow. It says here, when using, apply the machine to the affected parts of the body for temporary relief when muscular aches and pains occur uh, due to overexertion and fatigue. Who's snorting? Oh, Jeff, what a world of information. Thanks so much. Someone's snorting. Okay, Kathy's snorting. Okay, awesome. Okay, so this is it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you this one. That takes a minute. This goes in here like this. 
and it just slides right down in there securely. And it takes a minute. And I'm going to turn it on. Hold on. You can hear it, right? Look at that bad boy. You see it turn purple? Can you see that? Ow. <laughs> oh my God. Do you see the purple light in there? So I don't know if you can see it hit my hand. So that's what it does. It delivers like an electrical charge to your skin. It's supposed to help you. <laughs> but it works after all these years, it works. I was elated. I was like, oh my God. No, that's not a muscle relaxer. I don't know. So you have this one. Okay. And then there's the rake, which I don't know. I, I, I don't know where the rake goes. I, I have no idea. Let me see what the rake. Let me see what the rake does. Oh, wow. It feels like, um, what's it feel like? It feels like a tiny little shocks, tiny, tiny little shocks. <laughs> and then this one, I know it's the morning, but guys, I don't know what about, I, I, I just, I can't answer that one. I can't. Don't spit out your coffee, but I don't, I don't know where you would use this one. At, so I'm going to put it back in the box and leave it at that. But well, isn't that cool? Isn't that cool? I was so I was so excited to see this. I was like, oh my God. Oh my God. I love stuff like this. Because when do you find, like, who keeps this stuff? You know what I mean? Like, and, and all the pieces. All the pieces. I mean, I guess this is like, you know, prehistoric tens unit, you know, before there was a tens unit. So anyway, let me unplug this. So, but yeah, it was, it was awesome. UV rays, like putting the glass. Oh, really? Okay. Kathy, are you busy doing research on this thing already? That is the Master Violet Ray. I think it's awesome. I was super excited. Super excited to find that. That's gonna go up on my that'll go up on my eBay page for sure. But I'll keep it for a little while because I like quirky stuff like that. And there's I mean, those little pieces, I think like, um, it looks like the unit costs like maybe 20, between 22 50 and $30 back in the day. And then you can get the extra pieces, the electrodes, condenser, general electrode, and the glass electrode. Oh my God.
Oh my God. Okay, it pays to read. You know that, that skinny one I was talking about? You know things? You sure do. The thin one, the very the very thin one here. This one that I was talking about. And she is. It says, I get I can't okay. This glass, that glass electrode, this I'm trying to see it because I'm blind. This application has a slightly stronger effect and requires two people. The party to be treated holds the electrode firmly in their hand. The second party with either fingertips or another electrode draws high frequency to the desired spot of the patient's body by touching the part to be affected. Two part. Okay, so the rag is for the scalp and that other uh, flat one was for facial body and other, uh, and other surfaces. So it does have a condenser electrode, but that doesn't come with the kit. So you would use the rake part for your hair. Maybe that's why the tips are coated with uh, something special because of the oils in the hair maybe, I'm not sure. But that was my kooky find for the, that was my kooky find. I thought it was pretty neat. I had fun with that. All right. That was that was fun. Okay, guys. So I do have a couple of things for sale. I don't know if anybody's interested. I got I'm down to five people. I didn't expect really too many people to come in today. Um but I just wanted to kind of do a little show and tell. Oh, and check this out. I found this. Who loves Hollywood Regency? Look at this. Is that not cool? And it comes with a Dixie. I think those are the original cups. Because they are discolored. This is about half full. But this is the Dixie Company. Isn't that cool? That's 1950s, right? Oh, really? Get rid of lice? Oh, my God. Cool. So I thought that was cool. I don't, I only have five people here. I don't think I have enough people to even have a sale. So I'm just, I'm just going to do a haul. I, I, I just, I'm not. I don't have the audience for it today. I usually have a lot more people in here. So. Well, anyway, I found that. I thought that was pretty cool. I'll bring that to another sale at another time. Anybody's interested in that? If there's something you see, what else did I find? I showed last week. I found this really cool can. And this is called... Chumba soap pops. Chumba chups. Chumba chups. There were lollipops in here. Some chumba chumba chups. Not yet. I didn't think so. Not till later. I don't know who else is on right now. It don't matter. Chumba Chups. Soda Pops. I think there was 150 in here at one point. Four pounds worth of Soda Pops. Soda Pop. Cherry Cola. Lemon Lime. Root Beer. Those are the three flavors. Um, yep, it held 150 lollipops at one point. There's the bottom. And there's the top. I can't get the top off. Well, that's kind of cool. I think it's from 
Um, I'm not sure. <laughs> So, I don't know. Perfume bottles? I don't. I don't have any perfume bottles. And the only two pins I had was... Um, I had this Jerry pin. It's a dog pin. It's a Christmas dog pin. I got that one. I don't have a whole lot of brooches. And then I have this very pretty Christmas tree on a bow. Hi, Zeus. Good morning. How are you? So this is a gold tone. And it hangs like that. It's very pretty. That has all its rhinestones. So that's the only two Christmas pins I have. I, like I said, I don't have a whole lot of brooches. I don't. I don't find them. So I know, aren't they? I love the one with the bow, the dangling bow. I do have. Um, I have a giant seashell though, and this big old seashell. That's a nice big one. I found that out thrifting. I know some people. Some people like that. I think Patsy likes her seashells. She's probably not awake either because the West Coast isn't even up yet. So I got that. Um, I found this. this singular sugar bowl and there's the bottom like that it does have wear on the bottom not a whole lot but enough it has a little dimpled center again i'm not sure i love shells i i used to make mirrors I used to find like old antique style mirrors and I would, um, I just build shells on all around them. I have them, they're, they're up in my attic. <laughs> they never came down. So I'm not quite sure. This has the feel of Fostoria. It feels very buttery and, you know, the way that the handles are is really, really pretty, really pretty. So I found that, that was this week. Um, last week I had the curate, I found the crystal, crystal cut. Cruet very pretty. It has the starburst bottom and the leaves. That was, that was, that was a pretty piece itself. And then I had this heavy crystal basket. These are things I showed last week. Oh, yeah. I didn't even realize that. Hi, Zeus. <laughs> How are you? So I had this crystal basket, and that's the pinwheel pattern. It is very pretty. It's very heavy, so it's 24 lead crystal. And there's the bottom. No chips or cracks. I had that for that. And what else did I find? Oh, I found this. This is so cool. This is Pyrex. It has the gold. I don't know if you can see it. Can you see that? It has gold, gold leaf flowers on it. Really good condition. Um, this was not put in a dishwasher. 
the gold the gold flowers on here are pristine pristine condition and down here this is pyrex down there on the bottom darn it where'd it go it's right here pyrex and it has the top so i got that i thought somebody would be interested in that that's that's very uh, i don't know I don't even know. 46 ounce. Again, I have to Google search it. Do my research. So I picked that one up. I had. I got the Forstoria. Uh, the. Um, Forstoria Cubis. Pattern butter dish. This was that last week's sale as well. No chips, no cracks, no nothing. Very pretty. So. I got that one. I found Heisey. This is the one. One sold, and this is what's one that's left. But again, like, you know, he's right. When, when he says, when uh, Scott says, when you touch Heisey glass... It's very buttery. So I got that. That's like a little bonbon tray with the lid, you know, with the lifted sides. Very pretty. Jeff, do you go to the Revived Sisters sale? I was I was just wondering how you stumbled across my channel. <laughs> I saw you what last week or a week before. But it has the H in the middle with the diamond. It's right there. I don't know if you can see it. It's right there. I got those. I got that piece. That was that was last week's sale. I had a butter dish. Now that's the typical. That's what I grew up with. I grew up with that. The crystal. There's the checkerboard on the bottom. And that right there. So I have that. I found that. You can keep this all in mind, guys. And if there's something you're interested in, you just give me a shout. What else? I found Mother Mary. This is a Macasa piece. Oh, do you? You jump around? That's cool. I, I go... I'm always, I'm always in someone's sale. I learn a lot by just visiting the sales. <laughs> like one of the girls, huh? Okay. So I had the mother, the mother, uh, blessed mother and the baby Jesus, a beautiful piece and the ivory porcelain and she has one little tiny nick that I didn't notice. So she's right there. One little tiny nick. So I had her. What else did I find? Oh, I got a bunch of doll heads. Look at these. These porcelain doll heads. I just picked these up yesterday. So someone who likes to make dolls or different things with doll heads. I picked those up. I had those. Um, I got two rolling pins. Giant rolling pins. Hopefully I can craft with them like I did this one. I did this one here. I decoupaged it. Did you see my Halloween, Kathy? I move. Ta -da. I did a sh I did a video on it of my Halloween the Halloween thing. Maybe you didn't see it. I painted these little pictures. I painted over the Renaissance ladies and made them witches. You didn't see my video. I still have Halloween up. 
Yeah. So I got to take it down. I don't know what to put up now, though. So, yep, I tried my hand at decoupaging and distressing a rolling pin. So it has like a bicycle and the pretty flowers. And then I did a bowl to match. I have a bowl to match that one. What else? I have more crystal on the table, but it's not old, I don't think. It's, it's just a sugar bowl. I found this. This is going up on the wall. See that one up there? Well, she's behind the witch, but I have one back there as well. But I found this one. This is, um, yep, this is Sirocco. So I think I'm going to keep it gold. I mean, some people... Some people paint these. I don't know. Do you think I, if I painted them, it would kill the it would kill the um the value of it? Because these surprisingly these these sell for good money online. The, I I see the double digit numbers on these, and it has these little hooks. So I think some maybe some beading hung in between these. You love spiders. Yeah. Oh, Jeff, you'd probably like this. I don't know. Maybe you won't. This is the weirdest thing in here. <laughs> this is weird. Look at her. <laughs> She's impelled. I got weird. I couldn't help it. I got this. This is a Seymour man porcelain doll. And she came broken. And her head was broken. Like her, her head was hanging out. And and so I just put her on a doll stand. So she's. She looks like she was impelled. So I just added. The feature. <laughs> I was. I was getting morbid. But I didn't. What the heck, right? <laughs> so do you think if I paint this, I would lose the value? Like if I painted it like a dark chocolate, like a dark, dark chocolate brown, like very dark. I'm debating whether to paint this. But I would definitely want to use it up there. And if Dee's watching, I don't think Dee's watching. No, Dee's not watching. He's getting ready for her sale. Um, and you know how you know how I you know how I say that that D and I are sisters from another Mister. And does this photo does this picture look remotely familiar? Hmm. D has this exact one. D has this exact picture and her daughter thinks it's creepy. And I was like, oh my God, D, I have the exact same picture in my house. So, <laughs> oh my God. Anyway, we're very much alike. I wish I had her more of her personality. I'm not as, um, uh, what do you say? I like her personality better than mine. That's what I can say. We're like, we're like sisters. we sisters from different mysteries. So anywho, and, um, Thanksgiving is probably too late, but I have the tablecloth. It's a nice brown gingham tablecloth. And I have four of the napkins that would go on the on there. What else? You do? Oh. I found this one at the fair. 
I don't know if you can see it. It's that old frame. It's nailed in, but isn't that pretty? So I got that hanging in the in my dining room. Asian things. Oh, what I did find too. I found this is not, but this is a nice basket. I know I would have been a pain in the ass, Sahago. She, <laughs> she would have been, what do you want? Because <laughs> I want to come over and talk. But yeah, I could have seen I could have seen us hanging out back in the day. Sure can. This is just a wool basket. Nothing. It's it's nothing crazy fantastic. You know, you find them every, everywhere. But I thought it was I thought it was pretty neat. Um, you know, if you have a farm kitchen or whatever, and you could hang your towels over the top of it. I I too I do too, Zeus. She's very 1920s, wasn't she? Love that. But I did find, I found two lawn burger baskets. Now, I don't know if this was supposed to have some kind of a insert because the, the other one does. So I found a lawn burger basket this size, and then I found this one. Now, Dee does sell long burger baskets. And, yep, there it is on the bottom. 2001, Ohio. There you go. And it has the insert here. Yes. Very cool, right? Yeah, they're making a comeback. They were pop. They were they were popping hot, late twenty years ago, right? Like you couldn't touch them. And then this one was done in nineteen ninety nine. This one was done in two thousand and one. So this is twenty two years old, and I and I guess that's why they're expensive because they're made so they're made so well. So yeah, I got I got. You know, I picked them up because Dee's selling them. She's having really good luck with it. And Scott won't even say the word. He won't even say Lohenberg basket. Shut that thing off. I, I cannot tell you how much I enjoy watching Scott. He makes me laugh. And then if he has Jeffrey Reed on, forget about it. Between the two of them, it's going to be a riot. I can see Jeffrey Reed... Becoming quite popular very fast. He has a wonderful personality. So I have those. What else did I do? No. I hope I'm not boring you guys. I really hope I'm not boring you guys. But thanks for the five that are hanging in. <laughs> I hope you gave me a thumbs. Oh, I got 11 thumbs up. Yay. Now I'm going to take this out of the frame, okay, because inside is a painted, a painted on canvas, these two white cats. Aren't they pretty? God, this girl did such a great job. And I, I believe this is like an 8 by 10 canvas. This is hand painted. This better be hand painted. Hold on. I got to take it out of the glass. I got to take it out of the glass. Hmm. Hold on. Yes. Yes. Either way, isn't that a really pretty... 
I yeah, I agree. You know what else said they said that um I was listening uh right after Scott Sale, the crazy lamp lady was um visiting Ohio and George the antique nomad was there and Katie from uh the vintage bug or something like that. Um and the guy from, let me say, Bakers, or Parkers, I can't remember his name, Auctions. Anyway, they did a live for a couple of hours, and they were talking that Hummels are starting to climb in uh, value again. So there's hope for the, for the eight or ten that I have sitting on my shelf collecting dust. There's hope for them. Yay. So Hummels are becoming popular and people want those. There's something else that's coming back too. I forgot what she said. But here you go. I love these cats. I don't like the frame at all, but I like the cats. They're, su they're super cool. And then this one I got, this is definitely watercolor, but I love this. This is just a, like a farm scene of an old barn, but it looks like it's just framed in barn wood. You know what I mean? I love that it's, you know, they did that. The, um, it has that special glass that, uh, you know, what do they call that? That special glass they use. Uh so it doesn't hurt it, whatever. But this is definitely watercolor. Here's the back with the nails. Yeah, wall coverings. But I love the wood. The wood is, the wood looks like old barn wood. So if you, that's great for a primitive, you know, if you do the primitive. Um, or you just like, you know, whatever you want to call that, whatever look that is. So I picked that up and I, I thought that might be interesting. I try to, I, hi Carrie Ann, how are you honey? Thanks for coming over. I try to get eclectic things, you know, like different stuff. Um, you know, from, from that to, you know, oh, look, check this out. I found this. Argigola, Arg, no, Agri, Agrigola. It's from, it's Dutch. And it's, um, there were throat lozenges and it's written in Dutch. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, 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 I wouldn't doubt it, Kathy. So this is a vintage little lozenger tin in super good condition. And inside it, it just has a bunch of like eye hooks and stuff like that from a sewing, a sewing thing, which, you know, it's just a bunch of stuff that was in it. But I thought, I was like, oh my goodness, look at that. Where would you ever get your hands on something from European like that, right? And people love this stuff. They connect to it. Um, to answer your question earlier, I think this is, was a southern thing, Kathy. I don't think this was up north. I, I mean, I never heard of Chubba Chubbs. Chubba, yeah. Chubba Chubbs. Chubba Chubbs. I never heard of that. But I think it's a southern thing. I think it's from the 70s or something like that. But anyway, I know people do collect this kind of stuff, so I thought that was pretty cool. Um, let's see. What else? Sorry. I found... Now, this was a couple of weeks ago, but I found... I found a set of tarot cards. 
50 Ways to Divine Love. Okay, good to know. Thank you, Jeff. No, not everybody's into tarot cards. I don't read tarot cards personally, but this is what the set comes with. Um, I don't think, I don't know. But they tell you about each one, but I like the illustration. Each page tells you what each card is, like so. Tells you what the meanings are and so on. So, but this is 50 ways to divine love. So it's not creepy and you know, whatever. But I, I just like the design of them and I thought that they were, they were kind of cool for like junk journaling, like this one. You know what I mean? If you're into junk journaling, but I just, this is bas the basic design of these. You know, the full, I mean, I, I thought about using them as like package toppers, but I didn't want to send something that says the full. No, I want to get them. But those are, those are super cool. I thought junk journaling would be a good idea. So I got that. I thought those were cool. I don't know. Everybody has different tastes, different collecting uh, things that they like to do. You never know. You never know. And then the other one I got was the Game of Thrones. I know this is a very popular thing. So, and then it comes with a little book and comes with all the cards. But that's basically the way those cards look. So again, you know, if you're a great uh, Game of Thorns, uh, uh, Game of Thorns, yep, person. And then I picked up, I picked up a bunch of these for wrapping around gifts, or they might end up in a craft lot. I don't know. Speaking of craft lots. But before I go to craft lots, uh, these are going to go on. Um, you know, I don't know what I'm going to do with these. These are definitely European and they're Norwegian. Oh my goodness. So I kind of, I kind of want to keep them and give them to my kid. Look at these. They're like ugly, ugly gnomes. They're definitely Norwegian. Look at her. She's got a bad hair day going on <laughs> with her gray hair. Look at these guys. Now this bottom sticker, this bottom sticker, uh, a troll. They're trolls. That's what they are. They're trolls. And it says 232. But there's a, there's a letter before it, so I'm not sure what that letter means. It's probably, I mean, it's written in American, so I don't know. I don't think this is 230. It's kind of like a rubber. But aren't they just beautifully ugly? I don't know. And what's the fun part is look at this. That's the Mr. and Mrs. And then you got the two kids. <laughs> Check these guys out. Oh my God, with his one toothus. <laughs> I was like, well, here you go. You got me and my husband, ex-husband, and the two boys. So I got these from one of the ladies up at the flea market and I was like, I had to have them. So I was thinking about sending in to my kid. I thought it would be funny. But yeah, they're trolls. If he says no, they're going to go to eBay. Because I think there's, you know, people love the weird. You know, like I said, it's eclectic. I, I just, I grab whatever. I grab whatever. Okay. Um, here I have this ginormous bag. Now I'm going to... I'm going to separate this up into craft, a crafter's lot. 
But I got this ginormous bag filled with all kind of crafty stuff. And here's a smaller bag that, you know, there's a lot of crafters out there. Like, I don't know. Somebody might use that in an assemblage. Hi, Denise. Good morning. Hope you're having your coffee. I think the Midwest and the West Coast is waking up. So, I'm good, hon. How are you? I'm just going through my stuff. More like a show and tell whole kind of thing, you know? So, I found these bits and bobs. Little bags and pieces of things. Like these are red. So, you know, there's a lot of crafting people in the community. And I know I'm crafty. Oh, it's 11 a.m.? Okay. I'm crafty, but I'm not that crafty. You know I mean? I, I don't have the time, you know. My lifestyle just doesn't dictate the time to sit and create and you know it's a whole process so i found them and i'm going to probably put those in a craft lot for somebody oh you did 30 years oh my goodness wow is here okay there in this one here there's like these three books how to make bows cross stitch patterns from back in the day and screaming 80s holy moly remember those days guys oh my god i remember those days this i think this cross stitch is old but i thought i liked it because i thought it would be good for an ephemera you know what I mean? Like they can use this because the pages are very aged. You know, they can use the lettering. And it has the patterns. So I thought they could use that. And anybody, somebody that wants to learn how to make bows. So that's that came in it. Then look at this apron. I shoved this apron down here. This is not Scream 70s or what? <laughs> Oh my goodness. I think Tam Tam would like this. The Vintage Uprising Texas. I think she would like that. That would be like her thing. There it is. I think it's homemade because they kind of sewed it wrong. Like the, the salvaged edge is here. And it's on the outside as well. I don't know. 60. Yeah. So I think it was like one of those home ec pieces. I don't know. But you know what? If you have a kitschy kitchen, you could use it as a balance in the window. I've, I've seen people do that. I've seen that on Pinterest. So I got that. I thought that was kind of cute. And then what else we had in here? We had a whole bag. Oh, please don't open up. Thank you very much. Again, here's a whole bag of little mini uh, dominoes. And a couple of chess pieces, which if you're into miniatures, you can use this for, like say this would be a miniature in a miniature setting and they might use this as, um, you know, in a little bookcase or something like that. But here's the tiny dominoes, the mini dominoes. And that's probably from one of those that would use this probably, you know, in a dollhouse or something like that. You know, that there's very creative people out there. Just the plain wooden and things like that. This is wooden. Not plastic. But I got there's a whole bag of that in there.
there was this screaming. Look at those colors. <laughs> Amazing. Got that. So, like I said, this is three metal. And then there was these little picture frames and patterns and old Christmas stickers. Not that long ago. But those, those are Hallmark. So anyway, I, I, I just, you know, I just grabbed a bunch of stuff that, you know, I thought would go in a crafter's lock. You know, lots of, lots of these measuring tapes. There you go. So anyway, so that's, those are some of the things I found as well. And again, if, if something strikes your fancy, let me know. A few all day. I mean, I'll tell you if it's not for sale. Who remembers this? Now, this was, this I bought and I was going to either sell it as is. And it's, to me, it's very 90s, 80s into 90s. But it has like such a pretty Dutch look to it, like a Pennsylvania Dutch type look. And it's a wooden, it's wooden and it's all hand painted. They did a beautiful job on it with the bow. So I thought about, I thought of offering that up. Somebody likes that, I mean, it's people still decor with this stuff you know it's very pretty I remember this is very very popular early 90s very popular or it can get upcycled uh, I found this beautiful huge I believe I mean this thing is Enormous. This is a very large tablecloth like that. And it has the yellow border. Let me turn it around. See? It has the yellow border. Isn't that pretty? I I think I'm just too late for Thanksgiving. But yeah, this the corner of it. Isn't that pretty? It's very pretty. This is like a linen, and then it has um, it's like the cotton edge. It's very pretty. I said, well, it's too late. Thanksgiving is what, next week? Not this coming Thursday, the following Thursday. I don't know. It's going to be too late. Oh, I found, oh, I don't know if anybody likes, some people like boxes, some people like cigar boxes. Um, this is a cigar box, it's Carlos Tirano, Exodus 1959, 50 years. And it's the um, cigar box. Now it says in here that the whole box of 24 cigars would cost you $145.86. And that each cigar was $7.48. Exodus 1959. So that'd be 2009. But I believe, I believe it's a cedar. It looks like cedar wood. 
and there's the top and the sides. Uh, the latch, the top part of the latch is inside the box. And there's that one. And then there's the back. Yeah. So I picked that up. I said, well, maybe it does have two burn marks on the front, though. But somebody who loves this stuff, you know, they could do their thing, you know, sand it out, redo it if they really want it. But I think cigar boxes are, are collectible from what I can see. People like them. So I got that one. I found this really cool 550 piece puzzle of Santa Claus. I like the graphics. And this is uh, 18 by 24. But I just like the graphics on there. Super cool. Found that one. I found the House of Miniatures. I like this. These are inside is a kit with the instructions that tell you how to make this little table. So this is the, it's the Heppel White, Heppel, H-E-P-P-L-E White Side Table, circa early 1800s. So they just give you the basic wood for you to make that side table. And of course you would do this if you was building, you know, if you were doing like a little house, little doll house or something like that. But I mean, it's that they're, they're not, you know, they're just kits. But I just thought it was interesting. Uh, there's no UPC on this, so. Oh, uh, contains one table for assembly. Yeah. There's no date on it, so I thought maybe somebody would be interested in that. Um, I know that there's some horse people that, that there's some people that like horses. So I did find this balance, which I thought was pretty. And this again is for horse people. If you're the horse person and you like horses in your life, I thought that would, that's just a, just a, a panel for your window. So I, I gave it a shot. Maybe somebody will like it. But they're beautiful. Like they look like the wild horses. We have wild horses here too. Man in North Carolina. I did get another. Here's another another kit. And this one is the um, Chippendale desk, circa 1750 to 1790. It's not. Again, it's not. The, or the original old, old, old one. But you can make one if you like. If you're interested. How much? I don't know. I don't know. For which one? I gotta get it to lay flat. Oh, the horses? Oh, uh, I don't know. Three dollars. If you like it, three dollars. I can build a box for you. You want it? Hi, Poppy. How are you?
Okay. I'll put your name on it, Kathy. Good enough. I'm good. I'm good. I'm a hot mess because I'm I've been up since six o'clock yesterday morning. <laughs> I got off of work and decided to come and do this. So I haven't been to sleep yet. Usually I'm sleeping by now. All right, Kathy. Okay. Where's the other one? Um, I think it, I'm sure it is. Hold on. What did I do with it? Hold on, guys. I I just had it. I gotta I gotta use the potty. I just had the the horse game. I brought it out here. Okay, I'm back. What do I do with it? What did I do with it? I know I had it here. I don't know what I do with it. I had a game. Oh, there it is. All the way on the bottom. Okay. Since I might as well show this to you, Kathy. Now, I don't know whether you're interested in this or not, but since you showed interest. Oh, goodness gracious. Okay. This is a game. It's put out by Briar. The Briar Game of Horse Sense. Be a blue ribbon winner. Test your knowledge with 200 fun facts all about horses. And there's the there's the bottom. And it does it it has this right here is kind of split on this corner. But I checked the inside and it has all its pieces. got all its pieces it has the game rules right there for you horse people out there there's your pieces and your parts inside you got your questions in the little packages and there's your there's the game board You don't play games no more. You know what people used to do? They used to take these game boards and mount them 
and take all the parts and glue them and make like 3D collages out of games. I'm going to take a picture and send it to Sabrina. I think Sabrina's daughter is uh, loves horses or something like that. So, But I figured I'd just give it a shot and show you what I got. She might like it for her daughter. Who knows? Okay, do we have jewelry people here? Because I did, I did get this. I got this. Now this is, uh, let me put this down below. Boy, excuse me while I reach. Okay, now this I'm going to oh, play once a year on Christmas. Oh, yeah, sort of my, when I went to my parents, we, we did that too. I think it was one year for Thanksgiving. My dad and uh, his stepson got into playing, uh, what is that game? War. Oh, my God. This game was set up on my mother's dining room table right after Thanksgiving and stayed there for like a month and so. And they just went at it. And I was like, oh my God. I'm not I'm not a big game board player either. So here I found now this is definitely for jewelry people. People who make jewelry. I don't make jewelry. I'm not a jewelry person. I don't wear a whole lot of jewelry. I'm just, you know, I have my select pieces and that's it. I don't, you know, I'm not, I'm not a jewelry girl. <laughs> so in here, and I don't know if you can see it, in here is a bunch of bits and parts um, for jewelry making. And you'll know the names of them if you're into jewelry. Those are like the, the pins. I think these are probably silver. Those are probably sterling. And then there's all these little attachments. I don't know if you can see them. But there's these little attachments like that. There's things like this. You know, all the jewelry parts. So, and there's little loop rings, and there's these, the bigger, the bigger ones like that. Oh, wrong side. Oh. See all those? And there's jump rings. There's these things. There's like many of these. many. I was thinking about Alex from Chapter 2 Vintage Co. Like, you know what I mean? Like that, like a bezel kind of thing. How much for what, hun? For the, for the lot. And then there's these type of bezels with little little things like that. So that's one. I don't know. <clears throat> Honestly, I, 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 I don't know. Um, because there's a whole lot in this. There's a whole lot in the lot. Um, now, this, this case is shot because the top is all busted out. But... Um, This has, uh, I don't even know. I mean, there's special little tools. There's these wires, more wires, you know, like the gold and the silver wires, fishing wires. This has a bunch of little things in there. 
I got a bunch of jewelry parts and making anything. What? I got a bunch of jewelry parts too. So, oh my God. Okay. I hear you. Um, I got, there's all these keychains. These. More keychains. There's, I don't know the, I guess this is our, what is this? Uh, a magnet tape. Uh-huh. Now these are crowns crown like I don't know if you can see them can you see them see the crown oh you want to make collages yeah the magnets other right there I don't know I mean I, I don't even know what kind of a price to put on them these have cats on them I, re I really don't Kathy I should get at least thirty dollars there's cats in there o-rings you know the for the back when you hook a necklace and then in here you have i mean this is for a serious jewelry person i mean serious she this person was definitely into making this stuff i don't know i mean i don't know I mean, I don't know. The, I mean, these could be silver. I, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. But there's a whole bunch of them. They're like little leaves. I think they're leave bezel leaves. Okay, so you would, you would take this and bend it over to hold whatever you were holding. Hi, Crafty Kitty Vintage. How are you, Leanne? So that one I mean I like I said I there's there's these kind of bezels in there that's just one and then there's I wish I could show you what's in here. I, I'm having such a hard time showing what's in here. If I had a downscope camera, these are like the golden. Oh, uh, jump rings. Oh, what are these? I don't even know. I have no clue. Anyway, I know it's for jewelry making because there's a boatload. You should put them all in these containers like this. So this one. This one. This has um, lots of claw clasps in it. Oops. Yeah, so like, like this one. Has a big old lobstacle clasp. Like that's a heart shaped lobstacle clasp. Oh my goodness, I can't even get a grip on it. See, like that? Those are just the lobstacle clasps themselves. Um, 
these are heart shape. This is super boring. Hold on, I would be switching channels if I was you. Okay, this is a this is a heart class. Right there, that closes instead of a lobster. It's a heart. So, and the others are lobsters. I don't have. Okay. Um, extensions. So I don't. I don't even know. Like I said, I'm not even sure what a a fair value on, like on something like this would be. I, I, I don't. I just don't even know. I don't know. I kind of kind of sound like Stephanie right now. <laughs> I love stuff. Let's see, like all those, all those bits and bobs, like that. But like, there's a bone in there. There's hearts. I don't know. Who's up to 50 for parts? Who's up to 50? I mean, the whole thing? Look. Oh, what's that? An elephant? Oh, that's an elephant. Look. And I guess you can put a, a stone in the middle. Oh, I know, you know, like, you can, you know, when you try to go buy the charms, you, I think from what I remember, like just in Walmart, which is nothing, you know. I mean, you're going to pay probably six or seven dollars for maybe like five charms. So, oh, toggle clasps. Oh, I gotcha. I gotcha. Uh, hold on a second. Let me get my. Oh, I know where it is. I got it. Oh my God, it's 1230. Who knew? Okay. Just so I can be, just so, just so I can test. No, they're not sterling. These are just silver tone. List it for a hundred? I don't know. You think? Mary, I have a bow maker. No, I have a catalog that shows you how to make a bow. Yep, right on the money. My daughter wants me to list all my excess supplies. I don't know. I don't know, you think? I guess she made owl earrings. This person. I don't know. So I I don't I don't wanna 
I want to be fair. I want it to be fair on the price, but I don't, like I said, I don't even know. You know what I mean? I want to be fair on a price, but I don't want to, you know, kill myself in the process. Do you think, I mean, that's an awful lot of describing. I would have to take a zillion pictures to put that up on eBay. Okay, I would do that. People will buy for family on Christmas. All right. Well, like I said, it's... Oh, that's my magnet. It's all that. And then what's in that one? Well, this is just got to go in here. Okay. That special tool. These wires. So that's what that's what I found. Oh. Yep, there's my magnet. I wanted to make sure that those were not sterling. So it's that, that whole case. And what's in there? There's not everyone is full. There's only like, one, there's mostly O-rings and, um, you know, pins and, uh, you know, bezel things. I don't know. I can, I can try. I can try. We'll see if, you know, if that's something that, oh, the end. Did you let Sabrina know that I have, I thought I showed this. Let Sabrina know that I have this game has all its parts. It's called the Briar Horse Sense Game. Um, it's called to Test Your Knowledge with 200 Fun Facts About Horses. And I think she had mentioned something that her daughter um, loves horses and likes to collect things. Oh, yeah, well, it, it would be even better, Leanne, if the top wasn't broken. Because, uh, you know, I would have kept that just for jewelry. <coughs> So, and yeah, uh, let her know about that. I, or I can take a screenshot. And, oh, shoot. I forgot to put these back in there. Let's see, I guess the person was, I guess they were making things. So, anywho, what else? We got D coming on soon at one o'clock. No, oh, no, we don't. We have the train coming on at one o'clock. What else? I think this is my last box, guys. This is my last box I'm going to show. Because I think I've shown you everything. So what? I picked this up for my son because he likes to play golf. You ever seen such a quirky thing? It's a dog made out of golf balls. And a T for a tail. Isn't it cute? He'll probably hate it. And I know his soon to be wife will probably trash it, throw it in the garbage. But I just sent it to her anyway. Oh my God. She'll be okay. She'll be okay. She has a different style. And my son doesn't really care either way. But I just thought it was cute. She might like it. She might think it's cute. But check this out. Isn't this cute? You pull the little ball here. And the chickens start pecking away at the feed. Isn't it cute? That was, that was in a lot.
Nobody. Um, Kathy, why are you shaking your head, hon? Oh, here's another one. I got these two vintage. Oh, no. They got holes in them. Never mind. That's not good. Okay. So, I know I picked up a bunch of I picked up a bunch of eggs, speckled eggs, Easter, but there's some goodness in here, I promise. So I got a bunch of eggs, so I'll use those for decorating for Easter. Um, what else would I, did I find? Move those around. Oh yeah, here's another one. Here's a candle holder with a horse on it. World famous. Oh no, shoot. That says world famous Budweiser Clydesdales. They were in Long Island. Did you know that? They're housed in Long Island. The owner that owns Entenmann Cakes on his farm, he has the Clydesdale horses. Is that pewter? Yep. Yeah. Uh, scents and accents, it's cold on the bottom. Yeah, it's probably pewter. So, looks like it's a little off circle. But, yeah. I'm not even reading the chat. Continue the word. Oh my god. Don't even mention it. I don't even know what's going on. Okay, guys, I'm I'm getting close to the end here. Now here I found four. Um I don't know. I maybe they're beads, but there's a hole in the top and a hole in the bottom. And they're little white dogs. Oh, I got four of those. Those are ceramic. FOB, freight on board, 2003. I thought that was cute. It's just a, a little wooden um, wheelbarrow. That would might. A cute little assemblage in there maybe for Halloween or something not a toy just for decorative use so that came in in a lot and then I got this whole bag of um, again this is a crafters lot a whole bag of these now I have to look at them oh my there's these Coates and Clarks, 35 cents, I don't know. There's a whole bag of these empty wooden spools. There's one that's pretty big, two that's pretty big, three. Uh, three. There's three big ones. Um, no, that's plastic. So yeah, there's like there's like this size, and then there's this size. And I guess what people do this, they put little bottle brush trees on there to decorate. But when isn't it Mary from Ancestral Beginnings? She did something. So that's his Clark's. Uh, didn't she make some? I think she made it ornaments last year using these. American Tread Company. Now some people just like to collect them. So I picked up the whole bag. I'm not, I'm not going, I have my craft supplies and 
I found this dog and I just don't have the time. Oh, do you really, Jeff? You have someone five cents? Wow. Oh, goodness. Is he rubber? Look at him. He's like the shaggy DA. Isn't that like a, isn't that like a, isn't that a sheep dog? He's rubbery on the inside, but this is a sheep dog. He's got little ears and cute little face underneath all that hair. He's adorable. He's cute. I don't know why he's in here, but he's in here. There we go. I know what that is. What else is in here? Oh my God. This entire case. I don't know if you can see it. Maui, go inside, boo boo. Maui, Maui, go inside. See, there's all these little tiny, tiny, tiny red beads. There's mixed ones. There's like red and gold and then red and I don't know. They're tiny though. I mean, they're tiny, very tiny. Yeah, I can't even see the whole. So there's like gold and red and then red and something else. Yeah, we got that whole thing filled with it. Oh my God, look at this. I thought this was hysterical. It's a spoon and it's a cat. And I think you rest it. What does this say on there? Stain, oh, stainless steel 304. I think how it works is that like when you use it, maybe it's a little tiny, is it maybe it's a baby spoon? I don't know, but it's super tiny. Or maybe it's a little sugar spoon. But I don't know. It kind of, what does it do? Like hang off the side of the glass or something? See the little arms? How they kick in like that? I don't know. I thought it was super cute. <coughs> I don't know. I thought it was like a little sugar spoon. And then I got this, this, got this ginormous bag of these big blocks. The big blocks. So again, for crafting, you do your thing crafting. So, I don't, I don't know. I guess you can still find blocks in the wood. So, the whole big bag of blocks. The blocks, eggs. Now, here comes the glass. Oh my God. Look at this. These are a bunch of horses in different positions. Little white plastic horses in different positions. More eggs. More dogs. The little white dogs with the hole in the head and the butt. Yep. Okay, guys. And oh, look. I found a hundred bucks. <laughs> well, anyway. Okay, so I got this. This was in the box. And this is Indiana Glass. 
it has its label on the bottom in that beautiful blue color. It's ribbed, ribbed and swirled. Nice, right? No chips, no cracks, no nothing. In that very pretty blue color. Indiana glass. And I'm only saying that because it's got a label. Otherwise, I wouldn't have known. I just wouldn't have known. So that that's pretty. Oh, I'm running out of room. This one, I, I think, I don't know. I'm going to, I think it's old. I don't know. What do I know? I am not a, now this, I don't know if that's just dirt. Maybe it's just dirt. Let's see. No, this has a little bit of green in it. So it's old because it has a little bit of green in it. Look at this. This is heavy. And it has palm trees. Oh. Anybody seen anything like that before? It's got palm trees on it. There's the bottom. The bottom has ribbed. So, I don't know. Nope. More research. More research. See, when I was taking my time off, it took almost a month from reselling, you know, doing my YouTube lives. And, you know, the big reason is, you know, uh, you know, you get burnt out. Does it sign when you thumb up? Does it sing when you thumb up? What do you mean? So, and during that time, I did some, I did some thrifting and, you know, just kind of step back away from the whole YouTube selling community, you know, and just, just stayed in the background for a while and just took it, flick it. Yeah, it has a ring. Yep. It has a ring. Like, that's a funk. <laughs> yeah, it has a ring. Because it's it's heavy. It's thick. Uh, I want to say that's... I don't know. It has one seam... One, two. I mean, there's, oh, uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, that's the bottom. That is the inside. I mean, the, I mean, wasn't palm trees popular in design in the 30s? Why do I get the feeling like palm trees and stuff was in, like, bar cloth fabric? Wasn't palm trees a popular motif? Okay, guys. So getting back to what I was saying was I had an opportunity to do the thrifting, to, to take the time to go and wait because, you know, the days that I can go are basically Wednesday if I drink enough coffee and stay up. Oh, MCM. Okay. Um, thanks, Jeff. You're... Thanks for the help. Appreciate it. <laughs> um, so I was able to find some things, you know, and because a lot of what I had has become, it's just become stagnant and it's, and I had just about shown you everything that I had. So I really didn't have any new inventory to bring that was, you know, 
exciting and new and different, you know, whatever. So that was another reason why I just needed to take the time and, um, you know, and do some thrifting, try to find more stuff, you know, to, to bring to the table. So we just need more eyes on that's all we need more eyes on and I'm limited. I'm so limited on my time. I can't be on these collabs with other, with other resellers. I can't, you know, I can't get on trains. I can't get on drop sales. I can't, you know, I was invited to one. I couldn't do it because it was a live job. It was a live, you know, shop drop sale. I, I couldn't, I couldn't participate. So I'm not getting seen. I'm not, I'm not getting seen. Could be made by Gollinger. Oh, okay. So I'm really, you know, I'm really only once a week, you know. And then when I go, when I do have the available time to to do the thrift, it's either Wednesday or Thursday, and then and then my sale is Friday, so I don't even have time to do a thrift haul. I never heard of that company. What? Okay. Okay. So we have that. I'll have to investigate it. See what happens. And I found these. Now these I think are are old. I believe that they're old. Now these I guess went into they hooked into a light fixture on the ceiling. They wouldn't have come off the ceiling, you know, off the wall like that. They probably went up. So this is the pattern. It is. It is. No idea. Just keeping it, keeping it together. And even like, you know, staff will, staff will tell you, you know, if she's blue, she won't even come on because she can't bring herself to do it. I'm the exact same way. So if I'm, if I'm not feeling it, you know what I mean? You have to be lively and chipper and happy and you know you can't be uh you can't be depressing <laughs> people will go blink swipe so i don't want to i don't want to i don't want to do that i don't want to do that so i just um it just took some time that's all but <laughs> i'm curious i'm curious about these And I don't know. I have to clean them because, you know, I don't know. They have a slight, slight hue. They're not crazy, crazy, but I thought they were different. They were very hobnail, you know, but again, I don't know what company. I don't know what company, but anyway, I got two of them. I got two of them. I thought they were super nice. You know, they look like lady parts, but I'm not going to go there. It's too early. Too early. Well, it's late for me. It's like my late night, so I can go there. Okay. That, oh, but I, not everything. Oh, no, there's one more. There's one more. See, you thought you were getting rid of me. Let me put that back in there. Egg machine, egg clucker. It's 
all I got in my ceiling. Many, 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 many can lights in the ceiling. We gotta make it up for ambient lighting. Oh, what else? Oh, oh, speaking of lighting, check this out. Oh, let me check that. Check this out. Good, I found. Actually, I got this from, uh, I found this online from your favorite and mine, the Goodwills, the Goodwill folks. But look at that. It looks like the lady, you know, the lady Ace of Shades, she makes this kind of stuff. So, yeah, this was, I got a really good bargain on this. Basically, like, I guess if you're, if you're new, like if you're just a new buyer to them, um, they send you a coupon. The, the, the shipping was stupid. They wanted $20 to ship this from Colorado to here. $20 hairs. So they had it listed at $100. And then, so you can see it's all, it's all hand done and hand sewn in there. But anyway, they had it listed at a hundred bucks, but they they marked it way down, so it became affordable for me. And then when they sent me the coupon for twenty dollars off, on top of it, I was like, "Oh my god!" So I bought it for my floor lamp that I brought with me down here that I got a number of years ago, and that's a, like a nineteen thirties brass floor lamp, and it has the the jadeite uh, swirl glass that glows crazy when you put a UV light on it. So I popped that on there. But I like the Ace of Shades. She, you ever watch her on YouTube? And she makes these. Oh, my God. So it's a very pink, lacy, pastel -y. So I thought I'd share that. Share that with you. Super, super pretty. And what else did I get? Um, I think, oh, in this lamp, I got this lamp too. I have another lamp. I got this lamp. That has like a hobnail kind of look to it. But this thing here, this is all, this is mercury glass. Isn't that cool? It, it has a new, it has a new socket, but. But I thought that was kind of cool. I don't know what year that is, but again, more research. More research. I like lamps. I have too many of them. Too many. And I think that's... Right now, I think... I think I showed you everything. Oh, no, I didn't. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Leanne, do you know anybody who does these, would be interested in, in these? Because I was going to, if not, I was going to list them. What about, wait. No, I don't even think Angela, uh, Angela, not Angela Marksbury, the other one, Vogue, Vogue, 1910. Something like that. Anyway, they're they're porcelain doll heads, and they have the arms and the legs. 
Oh, is it? 30s and 40s? Cool. I have another one. Um, I have another set of boudoir lamps that I bought. Oh. But they're in the bottom of a box that I can't get to right now. But show and tell is almost over. But these are the last few items. Guys, check that out. I know that's 70s. This is 70s. Look at that. You know what this is, right? I'll show you. I think this held clothespins. Because it, there's no way that this went on your arm. I mean, unless you, you know, I don't think so. I think, I think, I think it held clothespins back in the day. So, um, I'm not, I mean, I don't see a maker on it, so it might be homemade. Oh. Let's see. I think it's homemade. I mean, there's no maker on it, but yeah, look at that. It's like that the tree of life kind of thing. Isn't that cool? I love it. And it's very orange on the inside. So somebody who likes that kind of kitsch, you know? Yeah. Well, you're younger than I am, uh, Leanne. So but this is definitely... Like a cruel. I think they call that a cruel. Use a baby. So I got a box of these. I don't know what I'm doing with them. I might just offer them up. I thought about a craft project possibly, but I don't know. These are just glass teardrops. There's four of them. Did you carry your toys around with them? Wow. So these are uh, teardrop 70 millimeter. So I thought those were pretty. There's four. Uh, like, again, I don't know, a great crafting project for someone who likes to craft. What do I have also? Um, and then this, look at this. This is definitely 70s. Look at that. Little baby dish. There's your box. And there's your baby dish. I remember my sister-in-law feeding my, uh, my nephew in one of these back in like 72. And it works. It plugs in. It's nice and clean. Oh, did you get them from Marshall Fields? Okay. But it has a little bunny in there. So someone who does collect, um, I mean, here's, you know, you can do anything. If you're creative, you can do anything. I don't really have to repeat what you can do with it. But, I mean, if you wanted to, you could, you know, if if there was a nursery or you had a nursery or someone who's creating one, um, you know, have this up on the changing table, a dress or whatever. And then you could put the cotton balls and whatever and whatever. You know what I mean? How much is, oh, how much is the purse? Wow. Oh. Oh. Um. I don't know. I don't think it's a purse. You think it's a purse? I don't think it's a purse. But anyway, the carrier. I don't know. Ten bucks?
Oh, you are lucky. I don't know, Leanne. You deserve it, though. You're welcome. So, again, that, that little baby dish would look very pretty up on a... Um, up on a, a dresser in the little baby's room with little things in it, you know. You don't have to use it for food if you don't want to. It still has like that fluid in it though, right? Okay, and very last but not least, this is old. This is a this this tells a story, as they usually do. This might have had a uh, I think this has a date on it though, guys. This was nineteen I mean, it looks older than that, but it's stamped 1973. And sometimes these have a tassel, but they call them doorbell ringers. I guess back in the day, they would, you know, ding dong. But this is all hand embroidered. And there's the two on the boat and the windmill. I'm assuming like Dutch or uh, Amsterdam, that kind of thing. And then there's the two at the tree. And then there's the birds. And then there's family. Another tree. Two men carrying a turkey, I think. I guess it is. And then whatever this is. Uh, I'm not sure what that is. Maybe that's a church. So it's this one. <laughs> I thought it was kind of a neat find. It has a little bit of aging spots on the back, but uh, you know, it has that nice patina is what I want to call it. It has a nice patina on it. So guys, that's my goods. You got the goods on the goods. So now I don't have to do another haul for another six months. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, my email is right here, Jeff. All in oh, never mind. You're not I don't even know who you're talking to. Never mind. Oh, look at that. It looks like I'm wearing a witch's hat. <laughs> they call that something in photography. They tell you to watch for it when you're taking photos. There's a word for it, and I can't remember it off the top of my head. It's not meant to be, but it just happens. Like when you merge something, you know, you could stand there and look like you're holding up a building. Jeff wants to make sure you have his info. I told him. Okay. Yeah. I'm a witchy witch. So, Jeff, you don't want this thing, right? You were just inquiring on price. You don't want this, right? Otherwise, I put it away. I am working on a project, though. I'm working on this project. I didn't, I put it up on YouTube. Yeah, it looks, yeah. Oh, he does want it. Okay. It's very easy. It's all in the attic treasures at gmail.com. All in the attic treasures at gmail.com. I have to sit differently now because I don't want to be wearing a witch's hat. Crazy, right? Oh, and I got the wooden penguin. I don't know. I got a wooden penguin. Wouldn't he be cool with a big old ribbon around his neck? Um, sitting on a fireplace mantle? For Christmas? <laughs> Any crate? 
It's got little scuffs and this and that. Oh, the Revived Sisters are on. They're going to do their haul. Okay, guys, I'm going to wrap it up. But one last thing I'll show you because you like the cool. Man, I gained some weight. Good Lord. I'll show you. I think I put it on the thing. This is a, that project I was working on. I, I posted a picture of it on Instagram and asked if I should take the flowers. So I took the flowers off. It had like pink flowers. The Revive It Sisters. You haven't been to their channel? You gotta go to their channel. Revive It Sisters. Uh, revive It. R-E-V-I-V-E-I-T. Sisters. Hold on. Um, um, where are they? Oh, no, I don't want to see that. Ugh, hold on. Live. Revive it, sisters. Here we go. Hold on. I'm going to copy their link. <clears throat> if I can remember how to do this from my iPad. There we go. And share. Copy link. Um, oh my goodness. It's just way too much information. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Oh, Kathy, you did it already. Good Lord. These make me blue so I remember I'm getting old in my old age. These make me blue. Um, I don't make everybody blue, Jeff. <laughs> There's only... There's only certain people that have that... I mean, I, you know, I, I hope it's not offending, but I only, I only gave that out to people that have, you know, been with me a long time. God, I'm wearing a witch's hat. That's okay. Some channels make everybody blue. I just. Oh, okay. That, that's how it does it. I, I don't. I don't make everybody blue who buys from me. Do your thing, Mary. Okay. Anyway, so this is the 1960s, 70s. I would say early 70s. <clears throat> um, this is also cool work. You know, somebody did a, the braid in her hair. And her scarf is very indicative of the times. Okay. So I took, they had all the pink flowers here. So I took all the pink flowers off and I want to try to match up maybe some orange and green flowers, you know, maybe some sunflowers or whatever. And, um, you know, maybe daisies or something like that. That would be indicative of the time. So that is, you know, that's like a, just a project that I'm working on. Who knows? Somebody, somebody will like it at some point, you know? So that is it, guys. That is my, um, it, there really wasn't, you know, I'll write this down. This is, uh, let me write Jeff's, Jeff's information. 
So did you email me? Did you email me? Um, Jeff, with your information. I think you're right. Hi, Sabrina. How are you? Welcome in. Oh, I might as well show Sabrina. Sabrina, while you're here, do you are you interested in this for your daughter? I'm sorry. I've been up all night. It's the Briars game of horse sense, and it uh, has all its parts. And it says um, test your knowledge with 200 fun facts about horses. And it's just it's just a board game. And I thought maybe your daughter would your daughter would like that, but if not, that's cool too. 10. It has all its parts. The only thing, the corner, one of the corner on the box, the corner on the box right there is open. But it has the games, the rules, the spaces, the cards. It has all the pieces inside. I checked. So. Yeah. You think your daughter would like that? I don't know how old your daughter is, so, but there you go. I remember you saying your daughter likes horses. So, there you go. Okay, I'll put your name down for it. Sabrina. No. No pressure. I mean, if you weren't into it, that's okay, too. No pressure. Oh, I don't know how much you saw. Leanne, were you here for this? Look at this. Were you here for this? Oh, my God. It's, uh, I showed it in the very beginning. It's the Dixie cup dispenser. Like my mom just had this basically pinned to the wall in the bathroom. But you went, you can go all out bougie and it, do that. And I think it even has the original little cups. But you know what I did see? I saw somebody, somebody had this, I think it was a Pinterest picture or whatever. What they did was, I don't know, somehow in here they did something, but, um, they maybe put a glass cylinder in here and they made it into a candle, which was different. But yeah, that's that's scream of 1950s. Just thought you'd enjoy that. Okay, guys. Other than that, if you missed anything, you can always watch on the replay if you like. Okay, Sabrina gets the gets the game. Alrighty. What else? I haven't seen you guys. Well, I go to your sales. I stay quiet most of the time, though. I just pop in. But a lot of times, like you guys are having your, your sale. Leanne and Sabrina have their sales together. And um, and there's, there's only nine of us here, and you all know them anyway, so... Um... um Y'all know each other anyway, so. Um, but a lot of times I watch the show and I'm at work. While you guys are still rolling, like on Sunday nights, I'm getting ready for work and I'll pop in quick and then I'm off to work. So I don't get to chat. I don't get to chat. But I'm there listening. I'm there in the background but most of the time. Jeff, did, I don't know, did you... Did I get an email yet? Does anybody have Jeff's information they can send me? If I don't get an email? I'm a hot mess today, girl. I got my witchy hat on. Thanks, Sabrina. 
Yeah, you could. You could put fairy lights in it, right? For sure. Did I get it? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Let me check. Mail. Let me switch accounts. Okay. Yes, there you go. Oh, okay, there you are. Uh, nope. I sure did, Jeff. Thank you so much. I got it. I got it. I got it. Yes. I got it, sweetie. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Oh, okay. He filled out the job form. So, let me write Jeff, Jeff's name down. Lord, I'm going to fall out. So, I'm going to clean this mess up. So, If I have my act together, I'm thinking, well, maybe it's too early because West Coast isn't awake yet. I'm thinking 10 o'clock might be too early, but I'm thinking about changing my time again because, I don't know, Friday's extremely congested. I'm squished in between a lot of people having sales. So I keep moving my time around to try to you know, either not step on toes or be far enough away where, you know what I mean, that people aren't bouncing back and forth, back and forth. But um, it's, I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. Thursday is full too. So I don't, I don't know. You know, when a Kathy does hers at four, so I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I mean, this is a good time. This is a good time. If people would come, you know what I mean? I mean, I have to get, I really have to get past like 12 people, you know? I have to get up into the 20s and, and 30s of people coming, you know, where I, I can't survive on 10, 10 people and then three people buying something. You know what I mean? It, if you do the math, it just, because just, you know, I don't need to tell you. You make an in, you make an investment. It's a risk. But you make an investment. So if I don't have people coming, you know what I mean? Oh, that's three. Thanks, Jeff. It's three more than I had before. It makes it, you know. Yeah, well, you know, last Monday, what was last Monday when Dee wasn't feeling well, I think last Monday Dee did a pop-up this past Monday. I mean, and she didn't fall through at all. She still, she still had her 100 and, what is it, almost 190 people. And she didn't fall through at all. I mean, she, she did make a little video to say that she was going to be on, but sometimes she doesn't. Sometimes she just does a pop-up. And she gets, she gets the viewership, you know, so like Nightmare said, I just have to be seen, I have to be seen more, but I don't know how to make that happen. So we just keep plugging along. And like I was saying earlier, I don't have the opportunity really to collab, you know, to team up with somebody, to have a weekly sale with someone else and share, you know what I mean? Go back and forth. And a lot of the collaborating going on is on days that I'm not available. I'm working. I'm working, I'm sleeping, I'm working, I'm sleeping. So I'm only available, you know, certain days. So it makes it, yeah, it, it's consistency. It's consistency, but it has to be, you know, worth the time and the, you know, and the investment that's put into it. If, if not, I'm just spinning my wheels. 
and spending money that in hopes that somebody will, you know. And in the process, I'm gathering more stuff for myself as if you if you watch the video from the beginning I was showing the um antique antique glass that I picked up. I can't part with it yet though. I can't part with it. Well you know maybe when the Jocelyn if Jocelyn is uh available maybe she'll watch my video when I show my my swung vases that I have up in my attic from back in the day. That ought to be fun. But I got to get stuff cleared out. And that's why I was doing the flea market. Just to kind of move stuff that's just been sitting, sitting, sitting. So it was um It does, I agree. It does. Well, I hope so. I mean, I, I just, I try to, thanks, Jeff. I, I just try to keep it eclectic. You know, something for everybody. I got the brass, I got the glass, I got the, if I can find the kitsch. Um, but sometimes, you know, my eyes drop out of my head when I see some of these channels that it's just wall to wall kitsch. I'm like, are you hoarding it out there in the Midwest? I mean, can the East Coast share in some of this? Because <laughs> we ain't got that stuff. Oh, I, I don't have it. You know, I don't know whether the South was into kitsch. I have no idea. But I don't have a clue, but it's, it's okay. It's okay. It'll, it'll, you know, there's, there's a new, there's a few new sellers that are up and coming and they're, they're, uh, they're getting their feet wet and, um, I wish them all the best. And, uh, and so, you know, we'll be, uh, we'll be rooting them on to get their numbers up. So hopefully, uh, Sabrina, did you did you hit the five hundred yet? Have you hit the five? I think you did. I think you did hit five hundred. You're in the five hundred club. Oh, cool. There you go. And then Kathy's she's she's getting up there too. That's awesome. So, guys, I'll just keep plugging away on, you know, on my day. Maybe I'll just change days, change up my plan, see how it goes. But, yeah, I mean, if I if I got the strength on Saturday morning, I'll, I'll just maybe I'll just do Saturday morning. It seems light. Like, I don't I don't know of anybody else being on. I don't know. How many other people are on at 10 o'clock in the morning? You know, or into 11, say you left one from 10 to 12. You know, I don't, I don't know. Is, um, no. Because it's Saturday. I don't, I don't, I don't think, uh, no one, right? No one. And that's a good time, right? That's a good time. People are up, they're walking around, getting their coffee. So maybe, maybe a change of day, you know, would be better. Maybe. Let's see how it goes. And then, you know, we'll see how it goes. I'll have to think on it. Oh, Stacey May does crafting. Yeah. Um, is Trisha on? Is Trisha on Saturday morning? What does she just do like a, a, an update? I'm not sure. Okay. All 
I don't know. Oh, I did that. Okay, here we go. Well, anyway, guys, I thank you so much. Sa oh, Saturday. Night. Yeah, 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 Saturday night. So maybe I can just, you know, maybe I can withstand. So I'll, I'll just have to, you know, I'll just have to see how it goes, you know. And uh, play it by ear. You know, I, it's just, we'll just see. See how it goes. I'm really tired. <laughs> you wouldn't know it, but I'm, I'm full on tired. I think it's time for me to go to bed. Make sure you share your link. No, Trisha doesn't do a sales. What do you mean, share your link? I'm not following you, Kathy. I don't know. I don't know. I missed it. Here it comes. Oh, on the community mm -hmm. page? That's what you're referring to on the community page? Okay. So I thought that if you just click on the I thought that if you just click on the picture, it takes you right to the, yeah, I guess so. Even that, you know, that's, that's a funny thing. I don't know how many people use the community page, um, Kathy, but I like, I, I noticed that sometimes I'll go to post a picture there. Are you only allowed to post a picture once a, once a day or something or because I, I tried to post like a, a short video or multiple pictures and I had a hard time. Or it says, there's no video, take a video. And I said, I just got done filming the video. And it wouldn't let me in. Okay. So what I do, what I've done in the past is I'll... um I'll shoot it out to Instagram. I'll, I'll make a, a little um, thumbnail and I'll shoot it over Instagram. And then everybody who's in my, everybody who follows me on Instagram uh, gets the message. You know, they get the notification. I don't know how the YouTube notification works. I don't know if I'm supposed to put it in the community, on the community page. And that's how you get your notifications. I just thought you got a notification whenever I went live. I didn't know if there was any precursor to that okay okay so there's oh dear I forgot some other stuff but that's okay there's another day there's another day Guys, thank you so much. Sometimes YouTube shorts, okay. Uh, yeah. And so, yeah, it's a consistency thing, you know, because even, even what's his name, uh, Michael Todd, I noticed what he'll do is he'll do a community uh, picture for Instagram, and then he'll do like a quick reel, and they, they usually back each other up. Uh-huh. I gotcha. I'll get out from under that, that hat. <laughs> um, uh-huh. 
Yeah, I don't. I don't remember either. I, I there. There's a lot of there's a lot of shows that I watch as well. And that, so that's a good idea. I just have to find out how YouTube does the notification. If it's, um, if it's done through the community page, is that how it gets out? So I'm not. I'm not sure. Even really. So again, I have to know. I have to learn. With Instagram, if you do, if you post something, if you just post a picture. Oh, do like a mass email? Is that what you're saying, Jeff? Is that what other? Is that what? Is that is that how you get? Uh, contacted as well doing a mass email okay I know yeah Picasso Cat had tried to explain to me one time about the Instagram, how if you do a reel, how it can take two days to upload, or is it a short? That I, I don't know. I did a short yesterday at the flea market and it came up right away. It was it was up on my page within within minutes. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, th I think, I, Jeff, it reminds me that I think I did that long time ago, a long, long time ago. I did like a mass email and it went out to like a lot of people, like all my, all the buyers, all everybody that I had information on. I just sent a mass email to everybody. I don't know whether, I don't think you were, I don't think you were on with me then Kathy. I don't I don't I don't think so. This was like way in the beginning when I was just kind of fiddling around. I don't do I I mean I, I Kathy I only have uh, Leanne I only have like four hundred followers. But that's enough. I wish four hundred would come on over to YouTube. And I got, but it, you know, it does. Like I went to, um, I was a guest on Dee's channel um, last month, sometime in September, I think it was. And I jumped, I jumped in my subscribers. I think I got, I don't know, I went from, 305 to like 320 322 something like that i mean i got a lot of subscribers when when i did a show with her you know and then um you know so they were very they were, they were very nice they did subscribe to my channel and um just recently i had another another push so i'm not i'm not sure but like i say you know, sometimes you have to collab with people, you know, you have to get on, you have to get on and do, and do shows. And like I said, I don't know how to host. I'm not available a lot of times everybody else is. So it's hard for me to host and believe and trust and believe anybody who's watching this. It's not that I'm don't want any guests on my show. I just don't know how to go about it in a you know, in that way, you know, committing to the time, to the day, to how the whole thing works with sliding pictures over. And so you do have 121 and I've seen your, I've seen your, uh, your stuff on IG, Kathy. I do too. I turn them. I don't even answer. As soon as that picture pops up, I'm like, nope. 
I'm like, go waste somebody else's time. But that's funny you said that. <laughs> that's almost, that's like, they keep searching. I'm like, you're the wrong spot to search. <laughs> it makes me laugh. I'm like, ah, no, I don't think so. You have, yeah, I, I'm not asking, don't get me wrong, guys. I'm not asking to be on anybody's channel. This is not, that's not what this is about. But I, I, I appreciate that, Sabrina. And I have been on your channel. I have been, you know, I've filled in with, uh, I've been on Picasso's channel. I do. Um, I'm not, I'm not saying that I'm a, I'm not saying anything about me not being on anybody's channel. Hello, my son, that thug Doug. How are you, sweetheart? I love you. Miss you. Um, so don't get me wrong. I'm not, I, 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 the invitation I'm sure is always open. I'm sure it is. And I, I surely appreciate that. I really do. It's, it's, and I have to, I have to host something at some point so I can get my feet wet on how to do it. I just have to dive in and, you know, send a link to somebody. <laughs> It's Douglas, Douglas, you want to be bougie, Douglas, Douglas, or Douglas, Doug, Doug, that's my boy, he's busy, I don't know if you're working today, you're busy working on the house, mm. so, but thank you so much, Sabrina. You guys are the best. I'm really tired. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to fall over. And Jed, don't stress either. Keep doing what you're doing. Oh, okay, okay. Oh. That's super. Sounds good. We can chat. We can talk about that, Sabrina. No biggie. We'll do it. You guys find uh, awesome. It just this what i just showed you guys what i had last week and this week this took a few weeks to gather up to get this all to you so i can get out the old and bring in some new some new stuff so that's what i did so maybe i maybe i don't need to do a show every week maybe i need time to you know what I mean? Sell, sell the stuff and then take the time to source the better items and then, you know. Oh, are you serious? I'm, Kathy, I tried modding. I tried modding. I'm, I get too distracted. Plus, I'm using my phone. If I was on a computer, maybe it would be different. But I was on my phone, and I'm like, so they would say the price, and I'd be like, I was zoning out on the item because maybe I liked it. And I was just like, oh, my God, how much was that? And I had to quickly, you know, tab the screen to back up to see what it was. And, and they're like, you know, Kathy and I were like, the starting bid is... <laughs> They're waiting for it, and I'm like, Bruh. modding is not easy. Modding is not easy. You have to, right, Nightmare? Modding is not easy. It's it's either it's either you. It's either you have that or you don't. You know, like 
there's certain people out there that mod for these channels that are just phenomenal. They are right on top of it. They, some of the mods are actually, I'm seeing some of the mods are actually verbally in the chat, uh, verbally in the video. That would be nice to have a voice with Nightmare. Oh my God, yeah. Yeah, imagine that, Jeff, right? Some of that. <laughs> oh boy. I thought, what do they call that? Uh, uh, there's a name for that. That you appoint somebody to bid for you if you want to bid. If you're being a mod, some I don't know, something like that. Some channels, some channels, their moderators don't participate. You know, they don't get into, they don't bid on the items because they they have an advantage. Especially, it, it depends on what moderator level they're at, but. Nightmare is pretty much my moderator. She helps me out because I get all the flustered. <laughs> I can't keep it together. So can you imagine? But this has been fun. This has been fun. I love Nightmare's introduction. Hello, son of Marianne. It sounds so papa. Yeah, he's visiting Dad today. Dad's birthday. This was actually the ninth, but <laughs> oh my goodness! Wow, hair looks like straw today. Okay, guys. Well. I showed you all my doodahs and whatnots and bits and bobs. That's going to come down. That's got to get packed away. Probably some fall items will come up. And I did do uh, last week's sale. I did a quick run through. I showed, uh, I showed them what I did with my Asian my Asian cabinet. Actually, I can do that before I roll. There's only eight of us here, so it's intimate, right? Let me see. I'm going to take you for a ride. Here we go. Okay, so while I was doing my thing, taking my break, this was a project that I had wanted to complete. Okay, so that's much more forgiving. As I'm eating, as you're eating your waffle. Oh my God. Okay, here we go. Ready? Up there, here, I'm going to try to do this. Here we go. All right, I'm just going to do it this way. This cabinet, okay, this cabinet that I got is something that I got at my local flea market and I had to replace um, the glass. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm rocking the boat. I had to replace one of the side panels and two of the shelves. So, because I wanted to put my Asian collection, stuff that I like, and probably pass on to my youngest son. So I'll give you a quick, as Stephanie, as Steph says, around the world, look. So, there's just a few items up there jeff probably knows what that is right there in the middle you know what that is right there he'll probably know <clears throat> anyway so it's pretty black lacquer it has this little flowers painted on it it does not have a bottom or a base it just sits upon a table so I was able to get these at the flea and I just bought, I just got this one from a reseller called Chooch. He's up in Massachusetts and he was a guest on the Revive It Sisters show. So I just got that from him. So I'll open the door. 
and it has a pretty brass handle on it. So I'll open the door. Nope. And where's my plug? Are you guys sick yet? Okay, here we go. So here's a quick roundabout. I hope I'm not making you ill. Anyway, here's just a quick roundabout of my collection. It's like a show and tell time, guys. So, like these I got from Sabrina. This I got from Dee. Um, there's another one from Sabrina. This one I got from Nikki. Um, I don't know. This, um, I think I got that from Denise. These I got from, um, Steph. I don't remember. I think that might have been Nancy. Nancy sells stuff by the seashores, but I picked this up. Isn't that cool? You know what you do with that? You put a piece of hot coal in it and you iron. You put the hot coal in here and then you rub the iron, this part, the bottom part, over the silk and it doesn't burn the silk. So it's a silk iron. I don't remember. Oh, the eggs. The eggs I got from Picasso Cat. And here's the bottom part down here. It's hard doing this, guys. I hope you're not sick. So this is just some of the collect. You know, this is my collection of what I've what I've done. And I needed to get this done because it was sitting in boxes. So I just like my Asian. And I have my my Asian shoes, my wooden shoes. Can you imagine walking on those? I don't know. And then I did, um, then when I was out at the, when I went out yesterday, I was very fortunate to find um, this piece here. I don't know if you can see it. Oops. Let's see here. This piece here, this is like the Asian silk. And then it has the matching too that go with it. So that's, again, this is just a project that I, I needed to get done. And, and that's, that's what I did. And I was happy to get it done. So I don't have to worry about it. I'm sorry if I made you sick, guys. Hmm. And I uh, let's just catch up with the chat to see what's going on. My son left. He's having to have spent time with his dad. And yeah, get my boxes out of the way. <clears throat> oh. Really? Yep. See, Kathy? Oh, the marigold glass wall. Right, right. I saw that. That was, that's pretty. Yeah, you just have to find the time to display your stuff. You know, you gotta, I mean, it's nice to have it, but if it's just all sitting in totes and boxes and stuffed away, I mean, you know, that's the point. It's, it's. And then you, you know, I don't know why there's an Asian pole. <laughs> I don't know why. I just like it. 
I just like it. But now that, see, now that the cabinet is full, now I can be a little bit more selective uh, with what I get. Because now I'm like, I'm, it's that, com it's that confined space and I'm not going to, I can't over, I can, but I don't want to overfill it. It's filled enough. So we'll see how it works out. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I, yeah, exactly. Well, doing a wall layout is, is I think is much more difficult. I don't use nails. I use thumbtacks. I, I don't like putting nails in the walls. <laughs> Sometimes you watch muted. So I like to see the prices and even a couple word descriptions. Yeah. Especially if you're purchasing, it's good to keep it on mute. <laughs> mm. Hi, Mar says, my treasure chest are full of camping gear because my treasure is yeah Nymar, you just you just displayed all your your sea glass that you bought that you found mm-hmm yep see i use i use the push pins i use the thumbtacks and then if the picture's a little heavy i'll use two but i put them in on an angle like this Instead of straight into the wall, I put them on an angle. And hopefully it doesn't rip the sheetrock. If it's a problem, then I go get the special nail with the little thing that, you know, the little metal. And I'll use the nail. But you could put that into any, you could put the nail into the sheetrock because it has a little metal brace on it that stops it from ripping the sheetrock. Right. Really keeps one. Just so that's how much glass is being thrown into that that body of water. With that much glass washes up. I mean, you know, I've walked the beach plenty of times, and I have a hard time finding sea glass. Hmm. Maybe they're. Hmm. I don't know. It's weird. And you know, I can, I can, I can, uh, I can definitely see that that's a uh, that's a pull to be walking next to the water. You know, water. You know, grow up on the water as well, and it's right there. You know, I mean, if I if I had the if I had a body of water that close, I think I would be taking the time out to go walk down there and be by the water. Yeah, very fortunate for that nightmare. It's very, it's, it's therapeutic, isn't it? It's just therapeutic. That's why the ASMR for uh, beach sounds works so well. Hmm. I suppose. So did you, everybody finish having their coffee and breakfast? Because it's that time. It is almost two o'clock in the afternoon. Holy moly. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, six hours. I gotta go, guys. I gotta go. I didn't think it was gonna last this long. 10, 11, 12, 11, four hours. Good Lord. Yeah, three hours and 40 minutes. Whoo, mama mia. Well, it's nice just chitty chatting with everybody. It sounds weird on my end because I don't hear any verbals back. All I'm doing is reading. So it sounds kind of weird like I'm sitting here just talking to myself. Oh, the Lake Erie, and she was always picking up glass.
Yes, now I have to get dressed and go get that haircut. <laughs> I really? Oh, boy. I didn't know you cut hair, Leanne. That's fabulous. The views must be incredible. Is that's where you get most of your photos from, right? Nightmar is, is from the porch when you're looking out. That must that's nice. That's really nice. Mm. Hmm. Well guys, it's been fun. I appreciate it. I appreciate you coming and sharing and the purchases that were made and not necessary, but appreciated. Um, I'll bring a lot of this stuff back when I'm on again. I'll put it to you that when I'm on again, which should be, you know, I just change up my time. Anyway, yeah, I got to go to bed. <laughs> I'm about to fall asleep. But uh, wouldn't that be funny? So you'd be, Kathy would be snorting. I'd be snoring, you know. But you guys are the best. Thank you so much for, for coming and sharing my uh, show and tell kind of thing. You know, I appreciate all the help, all the information. Um, and Kathy and Nightmare and Sabrina and Jeff and Eileen and anybody else that was out there lingering and lurking. Nightmare, of course. Thank you so much. Maybe this is a better time for you. I don't know. Yeah. <sighs> It was, it was, it was a good, it was a good time. I appreciate it. It's, it was, it was, it was good. I enjoyed spending my morning with you guys. With that, enjoy your weekend. What's left of it. Leanne, I'll see you in the chat on Sunday. You know, when you have your cell with the, with the, uh, with Kathy and Sabrina. Uh, again, guys, um, just, um, we'll st let me read that. I can. Oh, yeah. Me neither. Only if it hits me. I understand, Leanne. I, I really do. I, I totally understand. I totally understand. It's got to be something, really something that you want. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Thank you, Kathy, for everything. You're very informative. Kathy is a world of information. So appreciative of uh, you coming in. And everybody have a wonderful weekend. Okay. Enjoy your veteran weekend. Any veterans out there, thank you for your service. We appreciate you so much. All right, guys. Until next time, I'll see you in the chats. All right. Take care, everybody. Bye, honey. Big hugs for everybody. Bye-bye. Oi. -bye.